could you first of all introduce yourself? That's not my playboy, by the way. That's a playboy that I had an interview with the guy earlier. So don't think I'm sat here <laughs> jerking myself off here, you know. Um, my name's Daddy G from Massive Attack. A hey, new album coming out of you guys, right? That's right, yeah. There's, um, it's called Mezzanine. And, um... What have you been up to? Nothing. No, we've been... No, everyone says what you've been up to, but it's a case that, you know, this thing's been happening. We've been, you know, proactive in the field. We've just started the label, obviously, Melancholic Label. Just moved into our studio. Well, I must say just moved in. It was just before we started making this album. And um, had a few teething problems with the studio. Got that together. And, you know, you know the nature of the way that the, 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 this track's been put together, you know, the fact that, um, you know, I don't think, you know, we... We weren't really getting on that well for a while, you know, so we decided to go into the studio and start making uh, the album, you know, in separate occasions, like, you know, so we all went into the studio on separate occasions to do our bits and pieces, you know, and um, that kind of took a bit of time, you know, did a lot of drinking, did a lot of arguing, you know, did a lot of music, you know, and and we actually um, went on tour for, you know, four or five months, you know, no, no, actually, no, f I'm lying, actually, three months, sorry, you know, halfway through because, you know, it was getting kind of quite claustrophobic in the studio, so we um, went away, did a few gigs, you know, aired a few numbers that we had been doing in the studio, and um, came back and finished the album up in September. Started the album, sorry, fin again, and finished, just finished up. So that's what we're doing now, doing some um, promotional stuff. Okay. Uh, I was wondering about how you guys are getting along. I mean, you've been together for, like, over ten years. I mean, most relationships don't last that long. Uh, don't you, like, get on the verge of killing each other sometimes? Uh, we're always on the verge of killing each other, you know, and um, I think, to be honest, and because we've got this strong personalities, you know, and, you know, we're all got these egos and, you know, the whole thing that, you know, we know each other inside out, that sometimes, you know, you're in this, you know, you may be in a situation where, you know, you s there may be some disagreement and things get brought up that should have been resolved like two years ago and whatever, so there's this thing, there's still this sort of brotherly love, brotherly hate thing with us, you know, but... You know, in the end, I think that kind of... Well, I think with this album, I think there's there's a big hint of that. There's quite a lot of tension within this album. And, um, you know, I kind of think that reflects the way that, you know, we got on together as a band. You know, there was a lot of, you know, personal problems, you know, at the time of making this album. And also other things, you know, like Harris, for instance, he's hardly ever in England, you know, so we hardly get to see Harris that much. So, you know, we love him to death, but, you know, there's... We don't see him that often, so when he comes, there's still that sort of thing about flinging ourselves together and working in that environment. There's Liz, she's just finished, you know, with the Cocteau Twins and stuff like that, and um, she's just moved to Bristol, so she's got, you know, she's and she's just about to have a baby as well, so she's a bit here and there, you know. Our relationships with the band was a bit here and there when we went into the studio to make this album. And I, and I feel that, you know, it kind of reflects that sort of, it gives us, you know, that slightly more tension, a bit more organic and, you know. Yeah, but uh, I mean, is that uh, is that good or bad as far as you are concerned? I mean, it's it can be good to have some tension in a band, so you can I mean, keeps it exciting, right? Yeah, it does keep it exciting. And the fact that you know, maybe, you know, there's been this obsessional drive on some tracks by each of us. You know, there's certain tracks that may reflect each one of us slightly more personally. You know what I mean? And I think with that obsessional drive and the fact that you know you have to fight your way to get your ideas on this on this on this album, that you know it has created this sort of claustrophobic sound, you know, which, which I think has really worked well, you know, musically, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But then we're just talking musically, aren't we? You, you don't want to hear my history. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, with uh, Massive Attack, I guess uh, expectations are high always. Uh, do you find it hard to work under that pressure? I mean, expectations from the audience. Yeah, but there's always, you know, expectations from, you know, s bands that s seem to be sort of creating. And with us, we always want to be seen to be that, we're, you know, a creative band and, like, every album is... A step, a step up and or a step different from what we did before. But with us, it's kind of good because everyone says to us, you know, why do you feel, do you feel that you should, um, you know, like, the, you know, since you've been, there's a bit of a void, you know, there's been other bands who have come to take your place, you know, do you feel that, you know, you have to be one step ahead of them? We think, well, yeah, great, because they're, all they're doing is maybe, I don't know, I don't want to boast, but they're just repeating our formula, what we did with maybe Blue Lines or something, and we're just trying to be one step ahead of ourselves, you know, not anybody else, and, you know, and obviously we've got a fan base that we want to try and, you know, keep. But also you want to try and expand that fan base by incorporating other ideas and being fresher, you know, and, you know, trying to get another market. Now, uh, you've uh, created a, a whole new sound in music, I guess. Uh, did, you, did you ever set out to do that or did it just sort of happen or was it like a conscious thing? No, it's never really been sort of a conscious thing to, to um, go out and create 
a certain, yeah, well, it is a conscious thing, really, because we actually tried, you know, went to make a album which represented what we were about, which was Massive Attack, you know, and um, the fact that it's caught people's imagination, you know what I mean, and the, the fact that, you know, really, because that album, Blue Lines, was really quite simple, and the fact that, you know, at the time, everything else was completely the opposite side of the coin. There was, you know, it was all based around, you know, rave music, you know, as far as they, everyone was concerned, we were DJs, you know, so we were going to make sort of current DJ music, but that's not what we did. We kind of dug back into our collection and our memories of music and things that we were into and made, you know, like a certain style of music that we thought represented what we were about as DJs, you know what I mean? Not what everybody else thought represented DJs, which was this dance music. And this is why people say that, you know, wow, for guys from a dance orientated thing, which was DJing, how come they can make this? You know, and the fact that, you know, it was the other side of the coin and people wanted to listen to something which was a bit more mellower as well after going out at clubs. Our album just was there because it was, like, quite unique. And that's why people sort of latched onto it, really, I think. Have you ever found the, the whole dance thing too confining? Or? Well, of course, it, yeah, of course I do, because, you know, as soon as people talk about dance music, they think of a certain thing, or when they did, there was a certain thing, you know? Whereas now, it's like, you know... See, the whole thing about dance as well, that's another funny word, because, you know, when you say dance... It's kind of weird for Massive Attack to be categorised as a dance band because we're not really. Because, you know, that album was never aimed at people's feet. It was more aimed at sort of sitting down and listening to or sort of head and mind provoking, you know, rather than sort of moving the feet. So I think we're hopefully going to, we want to lose that tag of being called a dance band, you know. So uh, you should invent a new tag then? We shouldn't invent any tag because as soon as you start inventing tags, you know, that's a good thing about it. I'm glad you said that because. You invent a tag, and next thing you know, you change, or you're doing something else. So if you invent a tag, it's kind of suicidal because you can find yourself within the box. And I think if you invent a tag for your music, that's the end. Mm -hmm. You know. You have a, a really complex sound. How are you going to tour this album? Uh, you just like going to put in a dad tape and push the button? No way, man. <laughs> no way. No, that's where we, we evolved. You know, the thing is, everything we did before was kind of you know with blue lines and you know some of the protection was kind of studio based and this is what's happened with this album we've gone out on the road and toured with those two albums and actually created you know blue lines and protection on stage mm -hmm. so now going back into the studio with the band and creating quite quite a lot of what we hear on this next album the album that's coming out or the album that is out shall I say you know depends on when you're going to release this um, you know that was it's all leaning towards how we're going to be playing live so to us it'd be quite easy to recreate all this live in fact it's quite exciting that you can actually you know, sort of fuck around with the sounds, really, and change things around. Uh, because, you know, like I said, with, with Blue Lines, that was studio-based, and the fact that we actually 